What the fuck? <laughs> what up, dog? <laughs> What's up, YouTube family, and welcome back to a new video. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Today, we're doing a what I eat in a day video, as so many wanted me to do a updated version of it. But, you know, I'm, I'm kind of boring <laughs> because it isn't much that has been updated when it comes to um, my nutrition. I still eat my oats in the morning, for example. Um, so we're not going to do, like, this is what I do and this is what I eat. So this is what I'm basically, basically going to show you. Um, what you will be needing for my fancy cute breakfast is oats, women's best uh, vegan protein, a little bit of peanut butter, raspberries and blueberries. That's how easy it is. And that's my breakfast for today. We're gonna go change the diaper. Or daddy's gonna change the diaper so mommy can do some breakfast. Okay? Deal. of the whole day and this is what not keeps me up gets me up in the morning when I know that I have this mm. one thing that I started to do is to drink a whole glass of water with lemon I did this before but I have been really bad at it and every time when I have, when I remember to buy lemons, I drink lemon water in the morning. And that's oh, a cute little thing that changed. I'm gonna eat and then me and Robin are gonna go to Ikea <laughs> to decide how our new kitchen is gonna look like. We have a lot of updates in the house as well that I am going to show you a little bit of. I just want you to have a little little sneak peek. Not too much. Because I want to show you the final result when everything is done. But I'm going to show you a little bit. So this is currently our bedroom. We have one layer of uh, the color that we're going to have, but we're going to have one more. And I really think this is going to be so cool. And we're going to have the bed between these two. And these are um, the, the lists <laughs> that I, what do you call it? Like wall decoration. We can say, we can say wall decoration uh, that I was talking about when we were in this room uh, when we just bought the house. Uh, and now they are up on the wall and I'm really happy about the results, so yeah. Next is, it's like, you know how much I hate the mess. And now it's a mess everywhere. And I'm trying to calm myself. And this is the dining room, which is really, 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 really pretty. And this is a, a little bit of a lighter color than the bedroom, but still a really nice touch and a nice color for this room. We have so much light coming in from these three windows, so I think this one will be perfect here. 
and then we have the living room and the working man. I will write Tobias Instagram in the description below for those interested in painting. Do you say painting? Painter? Painter. <laughs> yeah. Pain. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is the big shelf that is soon ready. Oh my god, I'm so excited for that one. And we have painted the room one time. I'm saying we, but Tobias <laughs> did it all, not me. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be really cool to see the result. And you can see how that color and that color really like melts together. That one is a little bit more gray and that one is a little bit more beige, but I really think they are, you know, they really fit together. Yeah. Ikea. Ikea, I'm good. <laughs> Ikea. We're done at IKEA and our kitchen is starting to look really good. Bless you. <laughs> so this is how fancy it is on a Thursday uh, when you have meetings and job and life going on and renovating the house and the kitchen. Uh, both me and Robin were really really simple when it comes to food, which I really like that you are the same as me. You can just eat cold food in the car, not fancy at all, just when life hits you, this is how it looks. And this, this is mine. And just before we went uh, from home, we picked up, picked up, we cooked, we had food, we had food already from yesterday. As I told you before, we always have food prepared because you never know where you're going or what you have to do. And that is the food. Um, and then Robin cooked some rice and we just took either. Can you? Fuck you. So, as I said, we're trying to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, and uh, we did that before as well, but now with the baby, with Colin, uh, it is a little bit tricky to get everything done. Um, so now we are a little bit more simple than we were before. So as you know, I'm on my 60 days challenge uh, still and I have about one and a half week left. And uh, just because I'm doing the 60 days challenge, you guys have been asking me to share what I eat, but I'm still keeping it as simple as possible. I am tracking my calories more now. Uh, like. Normally I eat the same every day, so I don't need to track it every day. I know like in a eye measurement of how much uh, I'm eating during each meal and I'm still eating two, three, four, five meals per day now. Um, and I eat per third hour, which I and like this is how I'm this is what I feel is best for me to eat per third hour and to give my body new fuel every uh, third hour. Um, and with the training that I do as well, um, this goes really good hand in hand for myself. I'm not going to share how, how much I eat because it's not relevant, irrelevant at all, because we're all are different. And uh, my calorie burning per day is different from you guys. So I'm not going to share that because it doesn't matter um, and if I want to treat myself in the week or in the weekends normally you know you I've told you this before I am really strict when it comes to Monday till Friday I always keep my nutrition under control and then I I eat on the weekends and now the past 
three weeks, uh, weekends, I have been treating myself sometimes Friday, um, Saturday and Sunday, and sometimes Saturday and Sunday, uh, mostly two days in a row. And I really think that, like, I need that in my life. I need to treat myself and I need to have candy and shitty food and fast food and chip, chips. Do you say chips? Crisps? Anyway, uh, anything that is like unhealthy that you need in your life. I need that. I need that in my life. Uh, and that is what I, uh, that is what works best for me. I cannot talk and eat. So I'm just going to focus on eating. And I'll see you guys later. We have one errand to run before we are heading home. And that is that I'm going to buy more lists <laughs> but more uh, wall decorations for um, the shelf to be complete we need to do that before we go home um, but yeah see you at home when we are eating my middle of the day snack, snack. so we're back home and I just realized that we haven't been grocery shopping and I thought that we had more in the fridge that we actually had <laughs> Anyway, um, when times like this happen in life, you know, when life happens, rice cakes is my best friend. And um, I just put together rice cakes, a little bit of avocado, a little bit of turkey, and then we have a really nice meal. Um, so I'm simply going to eat this. I don't know if you can see, but I just put a little bit of... Um, mashed avocado on the rice cakes and then I have uh, two slices of uh, turkey on each and then a rice cakes a rice cake on top um, really easy really simple and I also took a little bit of do you remember when I ate this break this you know when I ate this breakfast before when I ate roasted um, roasted bread with uh, mashed avocado and Eggs. Do you remember the spice? I'm always topping a little bit of lemon pepper on because lemon pepper and um, avocado is like kind of best friends. So I really like that. Also, something. Did you did you did you notice this morning what I was doing? that I've like never done in my life. Drinking water from a freaking glass. That never happens. I don't know what it is, but it feels if it was just water, nah, I wouldn't have drink it <laughs> drink it. But when we have a little bit of lemon going on, I don't know, it feels it feels a little bit more fresh and it feels more, you know, fancy. <laughs> anyway, I'm always drinking water, but now um, I have lemon. I have so much lemons in my fridge, so I'm thinking that I'm going to use them. Drinking lemon water, they say that they're good. And they say that that is good. I can tell you as well that, um, if you want to know, I have four rice cakes, four sizes of turkey and I use about 40 up till 50 grams of avocado so a half small avocado or yeah depends a little bit of how the avocado looks like but I used to be in that 40 50 60 in that area just so you know this was really good Normally, if our fridge was full, I would probably eat some low-fat yogurt. I showed you this also. You know, it's so simple. I'm really simple when it comes to food. <laughs> I'm eating the same thing always. <laughs> and in the weekends, I'm like, fuck it. I'm eating everything. <laughs> but when it comes to my like 
in the middle of the weeks. I'm so simple. I'm just so happy that I get like the food. And I, I appreciate the food so much. I can eat, as you saw in the car, I can eat cold food. I don't care. Um, but I'm not saying that it has to look like this. Because I, like, obviously you guys want to know what I'm eating because of what I have heard from my bounce back after pregnancy and when I have started to train again. I train four times a, uh, a week now uh, and I have three rest days. Now two rest days because I have one cardio day, so two rest days. Um, and I've stepped down to training four times a, a week instead of five uh, like weight lifting workouts. And now I do four and I have one cardio day. And I got so many questions from you guys that you want to know what I'm eating because of the bounce back. But the bounce back is like, obviously, of course, it has to do with what I'm eating. Um, and, but like, we also need to, rem to remind ourselves that we're, we're all so different. And what works for me might not work for somebody else. Um, but... Like I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to stay calm with what I'm eating in the middle of the weeks, and then in the weekends I treat myself. And as I said before, I really like I need those days. Today is Thursday when I'm filming. Tomorrow is Friday, and then whew, you know that roar. You know that roar. It's calling my name. <laughs> but I really think that. If you have something that you are looking forward to in that kind of way, everything, everything tastes so much better, in my opinion. So my point is, your nutrition doesn't have to look like mine to be able to reach the goals that you have. I just wanted to clarify that. I have weeks when I want to eat other stuff that, than what I am eating now. Because now I've never been, like I've, I've always been simple when it comes to food, but now I'm more simple than ever because we have the house, we have the, like the renovation going on in the house. We have painters, we have um, a handyman running around in here um, and we're planning a new kitchen that we have to get in. We are like focusing on the gym downstairs that are gonna be delivered. I have my Instagram and I have my YouTube. Uh, that has to run and then we have the really really big freaking news that is coming soon I can tell you I think I can tell you should I? we are launching I am launching my very own fitness app did you did you just hear I am launching my own fitness app something that we have been working for for so long now and I have been dying to tell you guys about this, but now it is officially, like, it's official. And I can finally tell you that really, really soon we will be launching this app. I'm so nervous. But I think it will be really, really good. And in this app you will be having everything that you need to be able to reach your goals. I'm talking like training. Uh, technique training, how you should do squats, how you should do deadlifts, stuff like that. Uh, and also, if you want to count calories, you have that in the app as well. As something that you can choose for yourself, if you want it or not. Uh, and then you will be having loads of new recipes coming every single month. I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <sighs> okay. Anyway. Um, I am really simple now because of everything that is happening in my life. That was my point. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was my point. Um, so that's why I am really simple now when it comes to food. That I don't. I don't care. I don't care, even a little bit. Um, and I think that is also because I haven't been overthinking everything that I'm eating step by step, seeing my results all the way. I'm just simply doing what I'm doing and trusting the process. Meanwhile, I have so many other stuff going on. And obviously, it has worked. And I'm really, really, really happy and proud, of course, because I have been working my ass off. 
uh, but still, I haven't stressed, and that is what I think has helped me the most. I'm gonna finish this. I see you when it's dinner time. Colleen? <laughs> You're supposed to be sleeping. You are supposed to be sleeping. What are you doing? Can we please lay down? Finally, the baby is asleep. He did not want to sleep today. We're trying to uh, get him to sleep in a reasonable hour uh, because he's going to get used to that now when he's almost, when he's closing up to being uh, six months old. So yeah, it's definitely a struggle for time, from time to time. Um, anyway, um, I'm going to eat food, but first I wanted to say, I wanted to thank you guys so much for the love and support on my Botox video as I was like completely sharing everything um, and when you do that on social media today, like it's rough uh, and to be honest, I was a little bit nervous, uh, but as I said as well, I want to be as... Uh, honest as possible with you guys and it wouldn't be fair not to tell you so I just wanted to say thank you so much for uh, Understanding and for the love and support. It really means so much. I also got some questions uh, where you asked about uh, if it hurt to do Botox and like I have many tattoos so I personally don't think that it hurts and also I'm comparing everything that hurts today with the birth, with the delivery, because that is the most painful freaking fucking thing I've ever done in my life. So I'm, <laughs> I'm comparing everything to that now, <laughs> but I don't think it hurts. Like it's small, small, small needles and you can like, you can definitely feel them, but hurt. Yeah, no, not for me, but other people might think it hurt. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna eat food. Robin already cooked the food. Uh, I have been working until now and I didn't have the time to eat when he ate, so I'm gonna eat a little bit by myself. I told him that he doesn't have to sit with me. <laughs> so he's uh, by the computer writing also something really exciting that is coming soon. Food. I hope that this can be a tips for anyone who is watching this video wherever you are in the world. I hope this helps because this is something that has helped me so much when preparing food. Me and Robin, we buy uh, chicken and like the, uh, the protein, like the chicken and the fish that we mostly the chicken, I'm not gonna lie, mostly the chicken. We buy that from a big grocery store, um, like where you buy, like where restaurants buy their food. I don't know if you can do this in other countries, but we buy a whole bag of um, chicken fillets, which is already prepared and they're already seasoned, seasoned. They already put season on them uh, and spices. Season? What is season? Never mind. Uh, <laughs> they've already uh, prepared them and um, they also put spices on them, so they are done. Like they're done, like they are now. So the only thing we have to do is to put them in a box like this. And then, like I put them um, frozen in this one and in the fridge and then tomorrow they are done and I can just eat them as they are. I don't have to do anything with them besides warming them up. How simple, seriously, how simple can life be with this? So this is um, a Swedish brand called <laughs> Guldfågen, vilket är, vilket är, which is <laughs> um, golden... Bird. This is the brand Golden Bird, and it is a really good freaking chicken. Freaking chicken. Food is done. I just warmed this up. I had boiled broccoli since yesterday, and Robin did the potatoes in the oven today in like 10 minutes. So, once again, basic. I like basic. 
and I like when the food is fast. <coughs> Something is missing. Oh, I don't know what it is, but I love ketchup. I've always, in my whole life, loved ketchup. And in Sweden, obviously, we have this one, and this is Felix ketchup, and it is uh, unsweetened ketchup with no sugar. So my question is, do you have this, like this type of ketchup in other countries like US, UK, Germany, France, whatever country you're from, do you have this kind of ketchup? Question. And then I have this garlic sauce, which doesn't contain any fat, which I really, really like. I like this one a lot and it's really, really yummy. Uh, and as I have so much problems with my stomach um, when I eat milk products, this one is fire. Uh, and it's gluten-free as well. <laughs> now you know. I really like this one. I see you when I'm eating my last meal of the day. <laughs> And this is how we destroy the food. Can't even see what I'm eating because it's only ketchup. So every time before I go to bed, every time, there's nothing called that you shouldn't eat after a certain hour during the day. It's still like your day is from when you wake up in the morning until you go to bed. There's nothing like, you know, when you say that you shouldn't be at eating um, after like six o'clock or eight o'clock at nights. That's bullshit. You shouldn't care at all about that because as long as you're awake, your body needs the fuel. I always eat before I go to bed and I'm always trying to get both protein, fat and carbs before I snuck into the pillow. <laughs> and now I have just prepared a little bit of the low-fat yogurt that I've showed you before. Um, and this is really high in protein. I mixed this one with, uh, this, is, um, this is tasted with <laughs> wild berries. And it doesn't contain any sugar. It does contain um, sweetener, so you can decide for yourself if you want this or not. I really like this one and I take a little bit on that one so it gets a little bit more like as the texture as I want it. A little bit like yogurt. You know? And then I'm gonna use a crisp bread because this one is really good to have. I've shown you this before as well. You know it's already. You know everything about me now. But I use this as, like I crush it down to the bowl and this is what I use as a misle instead of loads of sugar in the mislis that you buy. So this is a really nice, simple thing to have as topping uh, and if you want that crisp, I really like when it's crispy. So I'm gonna use that, hold on, then I'm adding once again, frozen berries, frozen raspberries. Just, I'm just gonna empty the whole thing. Empty that one, and then blueberries. And for your information, I always buy big blueberries. I don't know why, because I really like I like the taste of the big because we have. We have different berries. I, I don't know if you have that, but we buy berries, blueberries that are big instead of small berries. Really, Robin likes the small blueberries, but I like the big blueberries. There we have the bowl. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah, can you see it? And then peanut butter. I don't know how I could, like during my pregnancy, I hated, I 
hated peanut butter. I don't know why. But like I couldn't even I couldn't even do this without feeling like I was gonna puke. And now this is the only thing that keeps me going. <laughs> I love peanut butter. I'm gonna have this one. You should see my camera now. If this one falls, gambling. <clears throat> we all know that peanut butter contains fat, but it's good fat as long as you don't eat too much. There's always a nice balance between everything. Um, and as long as you, I can show you, do you see that? Do you see it? Oh. Almost looks like my breakfast, but without the oats. I switched it to yogurt instead. Do you see that? Oh. And always a little bit left on the spoon that I cannot get rid of, so I have to eat it. I'm gonna enjoy my last meal and then I'm going to sleep. Robin is already on his way. What the fuck? <laughs> you just showed your whole ass. I have to, I have to get more to this sensor. Not one. <laughs> this is my family. We share everything. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. I hoped that I know I said that I don't care. I thought about this after I recorded it. I know that I said that I don't care about my food, but I do, like, obviously I care about my food. And no, I don't normally eat cold food meals, like in boxes in a car. Obviously I want my food warm and nice and <laughs> to taste good, but this whole day has been crazy, so I'm really happy that I got all my meals done and down. And when you are on a run, you need to be prepared for, like, you need to be pre prepared in life for whatever is coming. You will never hear me say, I don't have time to eat. Never. I always eat. Always. So. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Give me a thumbs up for the video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a video with my face. I love you guys.